When the industry asks that we provide a multi-die solution, more than by four die testing at a given time, I think it was around by eight or by 12, we basically combined machine-made spring, we utilized a, a semiconductor wire bonder with MEMS-made tip and attachment of the spring. This approach allowed us to achieve high accuracy of placement of these probes and allowed for high reliability of these probes, much greater than the old technology, which was basically handcrafted. In late 2000s, the leading microprocessor companies, they started to look into utilizing copper columns as an interconnect, chip interconnect. That drove requirement to probe copper. Copper was new to us. Um, the requirements imposed on us stated that we need to achieve very high current carrying capability because these new chips were power hungry. We needed to achieve very low contact resistance, very, very low contact resistance. And a third one, we needed to lower the contact force because number of probes was tripling. Because of accessibility to MEMS technology, we were able to create a new type of probe that utilized three different metals. Each metal's function was very specific and very different from the other one. With those three separate functions, we were able to create a near perfect probe that was able to do very high CCC, very low contact resistance, and very low bulk resistivity.